Namaste. Welcome to the wonderful world of Ayurveda, Yoga and Jyoti with Thiago Namaste. Enjoy. Now, after one year or more of Ayurvedic daily routine, we are going to start the uh, cleansing program that usually is said about the name of Panchakarma, but first we need to understand the two types of uh, procedures that are included under this umbrella. The first one is shamana, that is just pacification, that is bringing a little bit of comfort into the unbalanced state of Vata, Pitta and Kappa. And the other one is shodana, uh, that is relating to the purgation itself, is much more strong and, uh, let us say, dangerous procedure in a way of the application and also the implications of what we need to do after it, okay? Um, we are going to make it simple, just like one weekend uh, detox program. We are going to start it on Friday and we are going to end, end it on Sunday. For people that are have more kappa uh, constitution and uh, unbalances, this can be done easily once in a month, this kind of detox program, okay? For people more of pita unbalance and pita prakruti, uh, every month maybe it's going to be a little bit too, too much, like 45 days, 60 days, once in a while, it's good. And for... Uh, Vata unbalance and Vata uh, procurity, maybe like once in three months, this kind of more deep detox is recommended. I'm not going to say just like one day fasting. One day fasting is every week for Kappa, uh, every two weeks for Pitta, and every month for Vata is re uh, regularly recommended in classical texts. Okay. So the first thing that we need to stress, to underline here, is that no stress except the program should be inside of this weekend, okay? You have to have time also to detox your mind, because we are not going only to uh, make uh, the treatment to the anatomical, to the physiology, to Anamaya Kosha. We are also going to the uh, Pranamaya Kosha and uh, Manamaya Kosha, we are going deeper into uh, energetics and mental cleansing also, okay? If you can start on Friday morning, if you can start in the beginning of the uh, first day, okay, this is going to be beneficial, but if not, okay, people work on Friday, <laughs> maybe on one holiday, it's better to have three full days of this, okay? If you are going to have three full days, you are going to start at the earlier day in the night. The earlier day is going to make just to prepare the bed to the program, okay? You are going to start to have some tea to kindle your Agni, to make your digestive power more strong, okay? And this can have some considerations about uh, if the imbalance is for kappa, for pita, or for water. But uh, the strongest way, in a proper sense, to make this is to have tricato tea. That is usually um, ginger, um, black pepper, and long pepper, pipali. If you don't have long pepper, if you can't buy this in the internet, uh, this compound, tricato, you can also use cloves. The proportion is one to one to one. And you're going to start drinking it in the night after the sunset. And this is supposed to start to burn your um, ama, your metabolic intoxication, okay? This probably is going to make you feel hungry. And if you feel overly hungry, you can eat some uh, 
toasted bread, something, uh, some soup, a very light meal, but the uh, lightest meal that you can handle. Okay, we are going to be very hungry, but we are not going to be starving. This is a li slight difference, and we need to increase the uh, lightness sensation in our, in our in our body. Okay, so in the first day in the morning, you are going to uh, drink your warm water with some uh, lemon or some honey, depending, and we are going to. Uh, start to drink another kind of detox um, tea. This is going to be turmeric, this is going to be cumin, and it's going to be a third herb. It can be fennel, it can be ginger, it can be coriander, depends on the situation. Okay? For more kappa situation, it can be um, ginger. For more pitta situations, it can be coriander. And for more water situations can be fennel it's going to be one to one to one okay and in the morning you're going to be drinking this over and over after 15 20 30 minutes just like two fingers one shot hot and they're going to swallow it and it's going to make <laughs> you feel a little bit uncomfortable and you uh, going to make some yoga practice in the morning it can be sun salutation, it can be Bastrika, it can be Kapalabhati. But the point is that uh, while you're doing the practice, you should not drink too much of this tea. Okay? You drink one shot, you do something in your house, and then start making your yoga practice. You do for half an hour, one hour, and then you start again to drink in this 15 30 minutes intervals. If you're not hungry, all the morning you can go with this uh, tea because the idea is just to clean your uh, rasa and rakta datu to clean the superficial uh, structure tissues of the body and then you're just starting a very uh, quick amapachana program okay if you're very hungry in the morning, you can eat some tapioca, you can eat some uh, corn, you can eat very light meals in a way that you don't starve. You can also use some little bit of olive oil uh, over it just to have the sensation that you are not completely starving. Because these seeds are going to uh, kindle your agni, they are deep enough, and they are going to increase your digestive uh, power in a sense that they digest ama okay and then in the lunch if you are very hungry you're going to eat kichari kichari uh, it can be with uh, the indian rice basmati rice or the thai rice the jasmine rice with some very small uh, green beans mung mung moyashi beans I don't know the name of them in English. Um, yeah, I think it's mung beans. And uh, uh, this is going to have some a little bit of ghee if needed, but it, there is going to be a lot of spices in this preparation. I have one English video also about making kitchery. But the point is that it's going to be light, easily digestible, and the least amount you need not to starve. Okay? If you go all the day long fasting, the first day, there is no big problem because there is a lot of uh, metabolic intoxication that is going to be digested. During the morning, it's very important that you practice a mantra. It can be uh, listening the mantra, it can be chanting the mantra, it can be uh, japa mala. You, you can do uh, all the things about mantras because we need to stay um, with our mind detoxing also. You can go to a park and take some sun if it's uh, comfortable the weather. But uh, the point is that you shouldn't be uh, talking to people and going to uh, make things in the market. You should be resting and uh, having time to put the garbage out. Okay? You avoid simulation because the idea is to 
uh, go in inwards to so the mind can digest thoughts, feelings, and whatever. And the T is going to be cleaning the program inside. Also, this is going to be uh, making some uh, effect on the mind. Also, okay. After this, in the afternoon, if you need, just if you need, you can make some like apple, any fruit that is easily digested. We and you can cook it. And with some uh, spices and if you need you can put some brown sugar to have a sweet thing in the afternoon and it's easily digestible this is going to make your water uh, go down and you're not going to be just like going after the chocolates okay but uh, and the point is that during all these weekends all these three days two days you should be eating the less amount you can, so you can be with a little bit of hunger, not too much hunger. And it, they, if you starve, this is not going to be good. Okay. If the first day, in the end of the day, if you need a soup, a supper, just um, light one, like with carrots, maybe some green vegetables, and uh, if needed, a little bit of olive oil or ghee to make the water decrease a little bit. During this day, if you don't need, if you feel no necessity to do a Bianga external oleation, okay, this first day this is not completely necessary. The second day is going to be much of the same, but uh, in the night, if you feel that you are still not with a lot of hunger, you make again the Tricato tea in the night. Okay, that one, that it's really strong. In the second day, when you uh, start the day, you first take the warm water and you put just like 30 ml, uh, I don't know the measure of this in English um, pattern, but it is just going to be uh, 30 milliliters. And uh, you're going to have it warm. It can be uh, olive oil, it can be um, sesame oil, it can be uh, sunflower oil, it has to be warm. And after you take the warm water, you're going to take it early in the morning, this oil, and you're going to make the whole pro program again, but this day maybe you're not going to eat up to lunch, because you're going to be digesting this amount of oil, and this is going to help you to clean a little bit of some kind of um, metabolic waste that are not digested only in water, they are only digested in oil. And this program is going to go much more serious and much more funny <laughs> when we do proper Panchakarma Shodhana preparation. This is just a, a very uh, light version of this idea of Amapachama. If in the second day, in the third day, you want to repeat this amount of oil, you can repeat, but it's usually, usually it's not necessary. It is the amount of oil that you are going to ingest, these 30 milliliters, in the morning after the warm water. Okay? And if you feel just like uh, wrecked, not good during the day, just keep drinking the tea all the day long, because there is no problem. You're just digesting uh, trash, okay? But it's important that you uh, don't sleep during the day uh, in this process. You can be just like lying on the couch, on the sofa, in your left side, and praying and making some mantra and making some meditation. But don't lie down and sleep. This is going to be terrible for your digestive process, okay? If you need to, if you are very tired, this can happen. Please lie on the couch in the sofa uh, in your left side and with your head upwards. Okay? Just like, like that. And uh, you can repeat this process. Uh, if you have the three days, you can repeat this on Sunday. If you don't have the three days, if you have just two, you can do this on Sunday and then in the night, maybe around after the lunch, you start to have some light meal again. 
And in the next day, when you are out of this process, you just have very slight uh, meal as you had in the first uh, for one, two days because your digestive system is going to be a little bit um, sensible and uh, <clears throat> sensitive and also you should avoid a lot of stress, work stress during this all this five day periods, the two, three days in the in itself and one, two after it, okay? Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha Sharanam Ganesha